So we've got our frames drawn and it's time to see how they look animated. As I said in the previous section, we can manually preview this sequence of drawings by hitting the less than greater than keys. Uh, so we can go forward, forward, back, back. That is what our drawings look like played in sequence, but that doesn't give us an accurate sense of their timing in the actual animation that we would export here. To see how these would look playing back at real time, we'll either want to click this button with arrows going in a cycle or hit L on the keyboard as in loop. So I'm going to hit L and uh-oh. So that is way too fast. I'm going to hit L again to stop playback here. And the issue is right now each of our drawings is only on screen for one frame. And since our animation is playing at 24 frames per second, that means that all three of these drawings together are only adding up to one eighth of a second in the animation, and that's just looping over and over again. So for a little more clarity, I'm going to extend each drawing so that it's on screen for more than just a single frame. To do that, I'm going to click on the cell for my first drawing here. Notice that a little tab becomes visible at the bottom of the cell. And if I click and drag on that tab, I can extend the number of frames for which this drawing is on screen. Uh, note here's the name of the drawing and there's a little line underneath it to indicate how many frames it's being extended across. So I just dragged that tab to make my first drawing on screen for six frames instead of one. I'll do the same thing for my second drawing here. I'm going to select its cell and then click and drag on its tab to extend it on screen for six frames. And then I'll do the same thing for my third drawing here. Uh, so once I've made that change to the timing, I'm going to hit L to preview playback again. All right, and that's getting more clear than what we had before. Uh, I'll hit L to stop it again. One thing that I'm noticing when I was previewing earlier using the less than greater than keys, I can still do that to hop from one drawing to another. I like to preview going from eyes open to blink to open to blink, and then we start over again. So open, blink, open, blink, open, blink, open, blink. With the current arrangement in the X sheet, we've got open, blink, open, and then the loop starts again, and we're missing that second blink. So to get that second blink, I'm going to take these cells for the blink drawing in the X sheet. So I'll click on frame 7 cell, hold shift, and click on frame 12 cell. That selects those cells with this drawing, and then I'm going to hit control C to copy, and then click here at frame 19 and hit control V to paste. So now that I've repeated that blink drawing, if I hit L to preview the loop again, now I'm happier with that sense of open blink, open blink, open blink, open blink. Okay, final note for a little bit more visual interest. Right now, each drawing is on screen for the same amount of time. So this drawing is on for six frames, this drawing for six frames, this drawing for six frames, this for six frames. Uh, the visual interest will be a bit stronger if I hold the eyes open positions a bit longer and then make the blink positions a bit quicker. So to achieve that, instead of six frames, six frames, six frames, six frames, I'm going to try eight frames open, four frames closed, eight frames open, four frames closed. To achieve that, I'm going to take the first two <coughs> cells of my blink drawing here. So I'll click on this cell at frame seven, then press and hold shift, and click on the cell at frame eight, and then I'm going to hit delete to clear those cells out. Now I want to extend this drawing to fill in those two empty cells. Uh, earlier, I was able to extend drawings by clicking and dragging on this tab. We can still do that, but it's not going to get the result that we want, because when I do that, it's going to maintain that gap and push the other cells forward. Uh, since that's not what we want, we'll need to do something else to fill in these blank cells. To achieve that, I'm going to click on this blank cell, right click, and then choose fill in empty cells. And that will extend the previous drawing to fill in that gap. Then I'll do the same thing at the end here for the second repetition of our blink drawing. I'm going to select these first two cells, hit delete to clear them out, select the end of the empty cells here, right click and say fill in empty cells. And now we've got eyes open for eight frames, blink for four, eyes open for eight frames, blink for four. If I hit L to preview that playback, now I'm a little bit happier with that timing. We could definitely go further with more in-between drawings and more finesse, but for a simple introductory test animation, I'm satisfied with this. 
All right, we've accomplished so much. Let's be sure to save our work. We'll talk about that next. I hope you find these videos helpful, and if so, subscribe for more tutorials and check out thundercluck.com, especially if you have any young readers or fans of animation in your life. Thanks for watching.